This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers discussion here on the channel today. Following another loss in oil country, the second in a row in regulation to start, well, two out of three games for the Oilers this season. And while not exactly where we thought we'd be, but I'm going to pitch the fact that it's better than being 7-1-0 because we all know what happens to the Oilers after they start a season 7-1-0. So we'll take the difference here and instead enjoy the fact that we are 1-2 and two, and that may bode a different future for us than the 7-1-0 records have. A couple of them potentially ending in sweeps, a couple of them ending in a lost season, what have you. It's been kind of a trend for the Oilers over the past several years. That said, my friends, today, if you're new to the channel, what I want you to do is consider taking the rest of the video to hit that subscribe button here on the channel. I'd be greatly appreciative to have you along for this whole journey that we are going to begin the next 79 games plus for the Edmonton Oilers here in 22-23's NHL season. All right, that aside, folks, guess what? The Oilers, right? There's something going on here. I think everybody's really starting to hone in on this season. They've been undisciplined, but at the same rate, have really lacked team toughness. This is an article that Mark Spector posted, but I think after listening enough to the quotes that this article references on sportsnet.ca from Mark Spector, I want to pull a quote out and kind of take out where we're looking with this Oilers team right now. And this is obviously a cherry pick quote, cherry pick topic. You can debate it all you want, and 100% you can come away with any take you want on this and not be wrong. I want to preface this. This is just more me discussing a couple ideas I have here on this when it comes to the Oilers and kind of where they're at with what Jay Woodcroft was talking about here. So, Jay Woodcroft. In response to the team toughness thing and all this, I'll kind of read the article lines before that. Um, he was talking about, essentially, I think we have more than enough people that are capable of taking care of themselves or the ability to take care of teammates that may be put in a vulnerable situation. Then in this quote comes this one. You want to have the type you want to have a type of pack mentality where nobody gets taken advantage of, but at the same time, I think that's developed over a season as a team comes together. So for the Oilers, right, this is Evander Kane's first full season, Marcus Niemelainen getting in the lineup very early this year. You think about Ryan Murray's first season with the Oilers. You think about, right, the depth guys getting a more actual broadened role for the Oilers this year. And obviously, too, the pieces are very interchangeable for the Oilers right now. So um, when I first read this quote, and this is just a first reaction I had, this is an issue. If you are going into the NHL regular season and your team is not willing to have each other's backs, that pack mentality right out of the gates, of course you're going to see the results we have from the Oilers so far. And that, that's kind of my first takeaway from reading this quote from Jay Woodcroft was simply put, uh, how better to analyze this than to analyze it this way? Simply put, this is a quote that says, this team isn't fully playing as a team yet. Obviously, the cherry pick nature of that allows you to think that right off the bat, and I get that. But for the Oilers, right, you kind of look at that pack mentality and team toughness. Jay Woodcroft spoke a lot about it, and Mark Spector did a good job kind of wrapping it up into this article. Um, Woodcroft also in the post practice interview said today that his power play is a form of team toughness because it keeps the flies away, kind of right, allows you to. Stay ahead when you're ahead and claw back into the game when you're a little further behind than you should be due to other areas of your game. Obviously, the Oilers know that very well. But for the Oilers, right, it's one of those things of you, you can kind of pick this right out and point one finger at a similar issue is, yes, the Oilers, I did a whole video earlier this year, too, where one of the problems with the Oilers was they lack toughness. And I, I think in today's NHL, it's often talked about, well, they're not hitting hard enough. They're not fighting enough. They're not, right? That's, that's not team toughness anymore. Team toughness is almost more of a mental game. And kind of, you look at what I'm going to point to, what this whole quote got me, first reaction I've already explained. Second reaction is, but wait a minute. Team toughness is that resolve to go out there 
and really take it to the other team in today's NHL, right? You take the skill, you match the other team bit by bit in every asset, facet, I think is the word, of the game when it comes to winning a hockey game. And for the Oilers, they did that very well in that third period against Buffalo. They came out like a team possessed. And if it was not for Eric Comrie, you can say what you want about the Oilers shooting at the chest or him facing softballs all night. You know what? You face 24 shots in the third period and only give up one goal. You still had a heck of a night. I don't care how many one, how many of them were softballs. I'm sorry that in there, there's a lot of great A's still. And for Eric Comrie, he had a very good night and essentially stopped the best period of hockey we have seen from the Oilers all year and prevented them from absolutely storming back and taking this one. I think it was mentioned in the comment earlier today on Dolan TV. Had Eric Comrie even had two bobbles in that net in that third period, it could have been so much worse, right? You think about had the Oilers cracked him early in that third period, midway through that third period, tied it up, it would be a big victory for the Oilers, probably a two-goal win with an empty netter, similar to that Vancouver Canucks game on opening night. But for the Oilers, they are unable to solve Eric Comrie who stonewalls them. And they still had that team toughness and resolve. Sorry, Buffalo was absolutely flooded in their own end in that third period. They had no answers, barely getting pucks out, icing them just absolutely brutally. So for the Oilers, that's kind of where you got to look at this is for me, when it talks about team toughness and you talk about this pack mentality situation is it's, it's nobody gets taken advantage of. And I really like how that's, this whole quote comes together simply because you look at everything else Jay Woodcroft said today, and this quote encapsulates it, is it's not about dropping the gloves when there's a dirty hit. It's not about hitting harder or hitting more often. It's about really just beating the snot out of the other team in every facet of the game, whether it's your power play, whether it's your penalty kill. It's a work ethic thing. It's an absolute work ethic thing. And when this line comes down, I think that's developed over a season as a team comes together. What that really signifies to me, and just picking this apart way more than it probably should be, in my opinion, is simply you look at that and it's one of those things. What Work ethic is contagious. Good work ethic in sports is contagious. And if you have everybody working together like the team was working in that third period all game long. I'm sorry, the Buffalo Sabres do not survive last night with a 3-2 victory if the Oilers are absolutely beating the snot out of them in the offensive zone like they were first period, second period, third period. Eric Comrie would not have been able to only give up two goals on 74 shots. That would not have physically been possible last night, especially the way the Oilers were pushing late in that third period. So, it's one of those things, the team toughness thing is, to me, and the way it sounds from uh, Jay Woodcroft this year, is one of those things of you got to look at how this all comes together in terms of everybody playing for each other and just that work ethic to go out there and just get the job done. And you can knock off 10, 5, 15, 20 things on the list that need to be done but for the Oilers to truly succeed, again, I said it a couple of times yesterday and the day before, is it's one of those things. The other team should already have lost the game the second the puck drops. That should be the mentality. The Oilers should have the mentality that no matter what, it's a win tonight. Not take the foot off the gas. Instead, put the pedal to the metal and absolutely take it to the other team for an entire 60 minutes. The, the team is built to do that. We saw that against Buffalo in that third period and in the back half of the first period is this team is a team that can absolutely put the hammer down and finish a team lights out for a full game if they want to. But of course, this team is also capable of taking six, seven minutes off in the second period and giving up two goals that put you too far behind on the night where the backup is the star for the other team. So... Just realistically, on the team toughness thing to me, is it is, again, back to my point, and I, I always, usually at the start of the season, have a line that I always go back to. Just beat the snot out of them early and often and all game long, and you're not going to have a question about if you're tough enough to play against. You're not going to have a question of if you're 
five on five is good, if your power play or your penalty kill is good or your goaltending is good, go out there and be what you're capable of being. And there's no question of what you're doing because you're doing what you're expected to do because you're doing what you're capable of. And we expect you to do what you're capable of as fans. Folks, I have picked this one apart way more than it needed to be, but I needed something to talk about today that was going to be something off the beaten path. Quiet day in oil country today. I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV. I am up on over here.